Good morning. These are so comfy. You like it? Yeah. You warm last night? I slept for like 12 hours. I did. I did. From like 7.30 to 7.30. Yeah. You never do that, are you? I feel good. Awake now. Mm-hmm. If they're open. Mm-hmm. Solomon's Island, the place that was once known as Burns Island and renamed after a wealthy merchant in the late 1800s. Nestled near the halfway point on the bay, it is a perfect stopover if you're on your way north or south. But for us, it is just a cool place with plenty of places to grab a bite to eat and to walk around. The post seasickness hunger was starting to set in, so it was time to find some food. Taylor and I are about to fish. Hopefully catch a fish. Yep. I am not a good fisher. <laughs> We've also never fished here, so we'll see what Well, happens. not that I'm not a good fisher, I'm pretty great, but I'm just kidding. Um, I don't like picking them up, it makes me feel bad. So then I start screaming usually and I'm like, Taylor! So, At least we're in the same boat this time. Yeah, last time I screamed him and you were- We used to were, kayak fish a lot, so. You were a ways away, yeah. so hopefully we catch rockfish. That would be awesome. Yeah, I don't know if it's like... I don't Pressure's know on. I don't know if they're in the creeks this time of year or not. Just put your finger out. That's my type of fishing. Hopefully we don't get hit. Wow, brand new um, lines. Brand spanking new. Well, so far we've caught zero. <laughs> That's okay. Any bites, nibbles, anything? No, nothing. not a bite, not a nothing. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Why did it get stuck? Oh, I dropped it. Sorry, I almost punched you. Ready? I thought that was going to go a lot further. That was a nice case. It's so quiet. Squeaky toy. It's crazy. Is that a squeaky toy? Oh yeah, there's a dog up there. As long as we don't hear, I got my peaches out of Georgia. Oh my God. <laughs> we shouldn't, we didn't even I don't, film that. No. We don't even know. We were anchored and we kept hearing the same song for at least an hour and a half. Peaches by Justin Bieber. Yep. Over and over and over. And I was at like- At least 20 times. Are we gonna have to <laughs> sleep through this? Okay. Now what? Okay. What I need to do, like cut myself and put a little bit of blood at the end? That's yeah, how, how the true, yeah. Yeah. How That's the true fishermen do it. 
No, but I will make you kiss a fish. Wait. Oh, this is really long. Yeah, I made it longer so it was easier for you to okay. handle. Okay. Okay. Now in the tackle box. Which one says, come hither to the fishies? Anybody else feel bad for the fish when you fish? I feel kind of bad for them, especially once we have them. I'm like, oh. I don't know. Let me show you how to tie it first. Show sure. up. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I do like a normal little tie, tie yep. first. Then you go around it a few times, right? Yep, and then you go, you hold like the the first loop mm -hmm. open. So then I just wind it a bunch of times. I usually do like five or six. And then pull it, right? And then you go back through the bottom. So where my my yep. finger is, where I held it open. Is that the surgeon's knot? And then you just gotta make sure you pull it. It's like, you pull it, pull one of them. Yeah. That should, that's it. Alrighty. We caught Look at this. the biggest nothing. nothing. <laughs> Get on. Go back to the boat. Hang out for a little bit. I might drink a little bit of alcohol. Mm -hmm. Warm my body up. And yeah, caught nothing, but we still have what, nine days left? Mm hmm. How are you feeling this morning? Good. Making some coffee? Yes. Hopefully that'll let the... What's <laughs> this? I don't know, but it... <laughs> <laughs> you're, like... you're a true sailor now. I, I know. I had to do it at least once. Mm -hmm. Be a drunken sailor. You kept saying it was to keep warm. I did. Well, that was the first... The, those first two glasses were to keep myself warm because we were going to be motoring out in the dark and at night and it was going to be cold. Look at that fancy French press. Mm -hmm. So, um, we have a lot of wind right now out of the northwest, I guess. It's blowing 15 to like 25, because we have uh, like a couple of pressure systems around us that are like forcing all of this air out of the northwest. And we're gonna leave Solomon's and we're gonna head up the Patuxent River into another creek um, on the western side called Cuckold Creek, which like leads into Mill Creek, and we'll anchor up in there. And there's supposed to be like a beach and walking trails and stuff that we can actually like get out and walk around, and it should be pretty nice. It'll be a change from Solomon's since Solomon's is so like busy and restaurants and all that. We should have like a nice kind of quiet little place to be for a couple of days so that's where we're gonna go we probably won't be sailing too much but we'll see once we get out there maybe we will maybe we won't but it's not like all that far anyway so it's really not that far we just have to go under the bridge around the corner and then it's like right there so it'd be a nice little change I think so we are coming out of Solomon's now and you can see in the bay Way out there, it's just rollers. 
it's just, it looks miserable. There's someone else, a couple of sailboats out there, I think, but from here, a few miles away, we can see like, it just looks like a bathtub out there. We are so glad to be in this calmer area, not going out there today, definitely. I think these guys are oystering. That's hard work. There's our bridge. Can't remember what that one's called, but I hope we make it. We'll see. We made it. It is crazy the difference in here. This is such a beautiful little spot. There's nobody here, it's a huge bay. And like we were going through some really kind of rough stuff there in the Patuxent River and this is like flat calm. There's a couple knots. There's some like glassy pot spots in here. This is really nice. I like this. Beautiful. You're hot now? Yeah, it's just a really hot day for it, you know? Yeah. Perfect beach day. Anybody scared of heights? Pretty nice little spot, isn't it?
You ready? You stretching? So flat calm. Nice out here today, isn't it? Yeah. Sailor is going to show me how to pull the anchor and also how to anchor. Um, that's something, it, it doesn't seem that hard. It doesn't seem like rocket science, but it's good to know the techniques. So right now it's not that breezy. There's absolutely no wind. Um, it's flat calm, so I think it's a perfect time to just really learn the technique of how to put in an anchor properly so that you don't drag or something. So yeah, Sailor's gonna be teaching me that and hopefully I will learn how to put the anchor when we get to St. Leonard's Creek. All the berries on this tree. They're all over that thing. That's cool. This place here is just so cool. It almost doesn't even feel real. You out of breath yet? It's straight uphill. I think sailors aren't meant for this. Access restricted. Okay, let's go this way. What do you think about the park so far? It's beautiful. It's really nice. It's probably one of my favorite parks we've visited, we've ever been to. Definitely recommend if anybody's I don't even know what this one's called. What is this one called? Jefferson State Park, I think. Jefferson Memorial State Park. Yeah, yeah, that sounds right. This isn't somebody's house, is it? I guess we were leaving Solomon's Island and working our way north in the bay. And we're kind of in like a weird spot because it's really busy today with shipping traffic. We've already seen a few go by, like huge container ships. And we've got one coming up from the southern part of the bay, kind of like on the same path as us. And he's really moving. I think we'll probably go behind him. But then just behind me, we have this LFG 
terminal or something and I think that's where they unload some sort of fuel or something they have this massive ship over there that makes everything else look super tiny but then they have like armed Coast Guard like vessels there ready to like tell you to go away because those guys when we came past here last time they will like sit there and point their bow at you the whole time as you're like working your way around them and it's kind of scary <laughs> It's not like we're going to do anything. We're a sailboat. We can't get there very fast anyway. But it's a little, like, weird. We're just trying to give them plenty of room, but we also want to make sure that we're out of the way of this big container ship that's coming over here. So, I don't know. It's kind of like a weird place to be in. I just don't want to fuck with the Coast Guard. <laughs> Well, that did not last long <laughs> it's like flat calm out here now we got the motor back on and we're just motoring up into Harris Creek there's Tillman Island over there we're gonna go up Harris Creek and there's a little cove we'll find up there hang out for the night and I don't know maybe go to a restaurant or something realize we have like two rips in our jib and some sail tape on here too. I think that's just to protect some stitching because that doesn't look like there's been a rip. Yeah you can see there's like some there's one and there's one way up there too kind of by the spreader. So we're gonna get this uh, Sumbrella canvas stuff redone this winter time, and maybe I can have them like fix that and the one that's up there too. Uh, maybe look over some of the stitching and see if it's worth to get it redone. I guess where there's old stitching, maybe from an old cover, so that's not that big of a deal. But some of the stitching kind of looks like it's coming undone, like it's kind of seen its, seen its time. Yeah, and you can see all in here, we got the same thing. I think this is like old cover stitching. So that's fine. Then like the main body of the sail, I don't know, we got some stitches that have popped out in certain places, but it doesn't look too bad. Most of this stitching doesn't seem that bad. That might be old stitching. I think that's what that is. But like that right there, all that needs to be redone. I'll have to have them look at it, see if it's worth 
Maybe just getting another sale. I don't know. So we are all cleaned up now. I'm gonna take a look at this chain plate. This is the one that has cracked and basically like uh, the main chain plate mounts on a bulkhead back here. This is like a decorative, I guess, sort of panel. And the chain plate, let me show you this side because this is easier to see. So this one's identical and you can see how there's like the chain plate mounts to the bulkhead here and then comes off. And then the part that actually goes through the deck is right here. So if we go to the other side, same thing. You've got your piece right there that bolts to the bulkhead and then you've got your piece that's welded down here and then it comes off, goes straight up and through the deck. And when we were sailing, we heard like that really loud noise, which I think I got on camera. And we both looked at each other and we were like, what was that? So yeah, we need to fix that. And luckily I already did this side because we've had this issue before, although it broke in a different place. Um, this one broke, I'm gonna say three, four, five months ago or so. Um, and it didn't break down here like the one on the other side did. It actually broke right here at the bend where there's another piece of metal that comes across and it actually rusted right there at the intersection and broke. So this one is new. I basically created a list of the things I want to get done this winter. Um, let me show you. I'll read them to you. It's long. All right. I need to finish the drawers that I started underneath the V-Birth. We need a new Dodger, new mainsail cover, both of which we're going to make. A uh, new jib canvas, which we're going to be taking to someone, but now there's rips in the jib. I'm going to see what they recommend for fixing that slash replacing. I need to add a third reefing line to the mainsail. We need to put a new VHF antenna because ours is gone for some reason. Uh, whisker pole topping lifts. I need to just rig up. There's already a block in place for it. I just need to put a line there. Spinnaker halyard. I have the halyard and the block already. I just need to go up the mast and do it. Uh, I want to paint the bilges white because, well, I just want to paint them in general white because it look, would look nice, but paint them because they're, they're just kind of old. They haven't been painted in 40 years. And like we store our clothes and stuff in the bilge areas and I want that to not smell bad. Um, I think I'm going to try and make a new holding tank out of fiberglass because our holding tank has a crack in it, which I've like kind of fixed. It's kind of gross and it's small. So we want a bigger one of those. Um, I need to put seals on the water tank inspection ports because those have gone bad or are gone and they leak. Uh, I need to make a new teak grate by the helm, like where you what you stand on, because the one that we have is cracked. 
Um, I want to put on a new wheel cover. I need to service all the winches, which is very clear after this trip, I could tell. Um, I want to do a new heat exchanger on the engine. I need to do nylon washers on the bimini frame because when I put the solar panel on there before, I didn't do that. And now the engine like causes some vibration that's really, it's loud and annoying. Um, and I want to do a new chart plotter and pedestal guard. It's a lot. Um, I'm going to be definitely organizing this list and making it like what is necessary, what are the quick jobs, what are going to be the longer jobs, what are the weather dependent jobs. I need to add to this list new chain plates um, and obviously fix that one and I've got to fix the deck there too because the deck is like ripped in that spot. Yeah, uh, there were definitely other things I wanted to do in this winter off season project wise mainly like cleaning up a lot of the teak and redoing that stuff, but that's all just cosmetic. And this stuff is all of the really important stuff that I got to get done to make sure it's functional, safe. Um, and yeah, just like refreshed and not feeling like things are breaking on us all the time, even though they're going to break inevitably, but like trying to at least get a lot of the little ones out of the way and get all the safety stuff taken care of before we set off into the ocean. Cause Ultimately, our goal is this time next year to be heading south down to Florida, Bahamas, or wherever. And if you guys want to follow along with our sailing journey, you can subscribe. And we're trying to post like once a month, but we're not doing this full time. So we try and post as much as we can. But there's going to be a lot coming at you with these projects we've got going on here soon. So, um, yep, we will see you in the next episode.